let us remodel a simple window in this lesson with a single polygonal cube create a cube with default settings and then scale it uniformly and then scale it in Z axis move the camera towards U hit the 5 button on keyboard for the smooth shade mode simply and roughly try to make a size of a general window now go to the component mode right click on this window and choose the face in this mode we can select the faces of this uh, cube select the front face and now go to the added polygon and extrude this face with default settings click a box of scale for this purpose that uh, uh, we need to click uh, the middle box and now with the middle mouse button drag inward and scale a little bit inward this window and uh, now translate on Z axis outward a little bit and after that once again we'll extrude the face and this way you can fetch with the G key extrusion tool now scale again with the middle scale box inward and in Z axis minus inward look at this model go to the back face select this and press the delete so we no longer need to use the back face of this frame this is a simple frame now we are going to uh, give uh, this frame some details go to the component mode in edges mode and select this sequence of edges with the shift key and now go to the added polygon and Beverly tool and uh, reset the default settings reset the settings and bevel uh, look uh, our window is uh, going to be uh, smooth and uh, now it is uh, a little bit sharp uh, sharper we can uh, give uh, this window some more details for the beauty select uh, go to the vertex mode select these four vertices and try the chamfer tool chamfer, chamfer vertex tool with the default settings oh uh, yeah this uh, chamfer tool has made our windows frame more smooth that we want to model after that we'll give it uh, more details go to the faces mode select the middle face and subdivide this face into four faces go to the edges mode select these four edges and once again chamfer these, uh, these edges in a different way uh, bevel, these, uh, bevel these edges and uh, make the offset uh, distance a little bit lesser than the previous settings okay we need the fire frame mode on this uh, object uh, go to the shading mode and change it uh, into the fire wireframe on shaded now we can see the smoothness of our windows pane uh, windows frame and uh, still the pane is uh, need to 
more need more details and uh, we are going to make our pane of this window more smooth go to the faces mode select these four faces and turn off the keep face together option it is turned on but you turn off this keep face together option and go to the extrude face and extrude these faces but uh, we will scale uniformly in this way and uh, in z axis a little bit out and again we will try to extrude these faces very very little distance very very little distance and uh, now once again we'll extrude these faces and translate inward on z axis <coughs> So it is a simple window which we made uh, with the simple tools. Uh, we can make uh, more complicated uh, objects uh, with these tools, with the help of these tools, and uh, we can prepare the all interior designing for our buildings and uh, complex buildings. Uh, now in the next lesson, we are trying to uh, understand the mapping of the texture on this window in the next lesson.